Hello everyone. Today Robometrics is going to talk about subscriber. What a subscriber does is basically accesses the data what the publisher is publishing. So basically it's the way you get readings from your sensor or is the way if you want to just know what speed your robot is currently working at. To start about it, you need to create basically a file which would be your subscriber file. I have created one inside the scripts folder and make sure after you do that, you make it executable. So to make it executable, what you need to do is chmod plus x plus x and then the name of the Python file. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm not currently in that particular directory, but you should do it after going inside the directory. So to start with it, this is the receiver.py file, which is my subscriber file. The three basically commands, which uh, lines, the first three lines are, you're setting the Python environment, then you're importing RossPy, and the last thing is from standard messages, you are importing string message type. So to ask why string message type is basically because in talker.py, if you have watched the earlier videos, we have written down this whole Python file. So I'll link the video in the description box below. But the talker topic, the talker publisher topic, basically publishes a string message type. That is, this is being sent is what it is sending. So to access that, you need a subscriber, which is also using a string message type. And thus you have, you are importing string. The first part of the code will be the 13th and the 14th line. That is, if this is the file which we are running, you will call the listener function. And what listener does is basically defines a node that is subscriber node. Make sure that the node name is unique and yeah it which makes more sense to be the node name and the next thing is rospy.subscriber just like rospy.publisher here it is rospy.publisher which states the topic name and the type of the message here we have rospy.subscriber which takes the topic name and the type of message type and then we have one more thing which is subscriber callback function. This is basically name of the call function. It can be anything and you pass in the data. You call it data because that is what uh, is being accessed as. You for different topics you have to look at what uh, value it is. So and for if you remember in the last video I talked about why rospy.log info is there. It basically what it does is basically prints it out on the terminal correct uh, so rospy.log info what does it print it rospy.get caller id plus i received percentage s and what it is the data's data type why it is dot data is what i'll show you once i run it uh, and then you draw, do raw spin what raw spin does is very similar to how a while loop works. Basically, you use it in ROS uh, codes so that the Python file does not exit. So basically, it keeps on running in a loop and keeps on publishing this. In this, you can do different things like changing the values of the subscriber, changing or uh, cha taking that value, doing any different things and then publishing it again. This all things can be done in the caller callback function. In a later video, we'll talk about what if you have a publisher and subscriber in the same code and then you take the subscriber, you change it a bit and publish it again inside the caller callback function. That would be an interesting video, I believe. If you want to know more about it, please comment down below and I can quickly put a video out there for you guys. So to run this video, so to run this Python file, what we'll do is First thing, in the first terminal, you'll need raw score, which are, it's currently running. The next thing which you need is to run the publisher, correct? 
why you need it because if you publishing then only you can subscribe ross run beginner tutorials that's the name of the package and talker.py which is our name of the file of the publisher so data is being sent and now you run ross run beginner tutorials and you run receiver and you get this is being sent so if you see clearly this is being sent is what we are sending this is being sent is what the publisher is publishing there was one more thing which i was talking about and that is let me i told you yeah so i told you that uh, why is this data dot data so if you echo the ross our uh, publisher topic ross topic echo and name of the publisher so that's slash talker you see data and that is being sent so this data thing over here this is what is dot data goes here so if it's let's say if it's the name is a variable which is um let's say image 1 so it goes like dot image 1 later on when we talk about how to write a custom message type we'll use this further so this is all about how to write a subscriber in python and i hope you guys liked it subscribe and comment down below if you have any doubts i'll be linking all the important data in the description box till then keep watching robometrics thank you